Hey people, welcome to this video. I hope you all are doing good. Are you by any chance planning a trip to Kerala in South India? If you all are planning a trip to Kerala, then this video is for you all as I am going to provide you all all the information from A to Z that you will require on your trip to Kerala. So please do watch this video till the end as I will give all information on the itinerary, the time required to travel between places, sightseeing spots, and of course the main important thing is the budget that you will require so stay tuned now kerala is known as god's own country you will all know this and there are a lot of tourists from india as well as foreign places that come to this land of kerala kerala is known for its spices and therefore the british came to india and landed up in kerala in search of spices now Kerala is a huge state and there are a lot of attractions but I will tell you all the main top attractions in Kerala. So there is Monar, there is Tekri, Alapi and Tiruvananthapuram also known as Trivandrum. Now how you all will get to Kerala? So Kerala is accessible by flight, by rails and by bus or road. So anyone from the north can travel by flight to Kerala and save on their time. Of course it will be expensive, you can also opt for train. People nearby in the vicinity of Kerala can come by bus that is Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, any place nearby Kerala. And that's a cheap mode of transport, you can also opt for train to come to Kerala. So there are two airports, one at Kochi and one at Thiruvananthapuram or Trivandrum in these places that are told you of uh, tourist attraction. So you all can arrive at either of these airports when you all come to Kerala. Now for transportation as in sightseeing within Kerala, you all can use your private transport as per your own convenience or you all can take a package of a taxi for the number of nights you are staying in Kerala and there will be a set amount of kilometers. So Anything above those kilometers for those many nights will be charged extra. Or you can also take a package of a bike for the number of nights that are staying in Kerala. That also will be the same as for the taxi. Anything above those kilometers will be charged extra. Or you can use the cheapest mode of transport as in the bus and uh, travel around because Kerala is very well connected with buses and it's very cheap 100 to 200 rupees or you can also use a rickshaw and travel around so when you all enter Kerala majority of you all will reach Kochi you all can then uh, visit Atirapalli waterfall okay it's around 67 to 70 kilometers from Kochi this waterfall is huge and massive and it is very famous because the Baobali film was shot there. So you all can stay there for that night. However, if you all are not planning to visit Atirapalli waterfall, then you all can head from Kochi when you all arrive straight to Munnar. So that would take around 4 hours from Kochi to Munnar, 126 or 128 kilometers. And uh, on the way to Monar, when you are going, you will see a few waterfalls like Cheyara waterfall and Valara waterfall. So you all can stop there, take pictures or videos. And then when you all arrive at Monar, you all can probably visit one or two sightseeing spots and stay the night there. On the next day, you all can visit tea plantations. Of course, you will have come to Monar. It's the most beautiful place in Kerala and it's a hill station. So definitely uh, you all will see tea plantations there. So you all can go to photo point, you all can go to Lockhart, Gap View Point or Top Station. So at these points, uh, mostly photo point, you will get a person who takes professional photographs uh, with the tea attire costume for females. So you all can get that clicked uh, for a reasonable price of 100 rupees. Now 50 for a soft copy, 50 for a hard copy. The next day you all can go to Eravikulam National Park. Uh, the ticket is around 200 rupees per person. 50 rupees for a camera, uh, still camera and 350 rupees for a video camera. So you all can book tickets online only to avoid a rush or for your convenience sake. 
because there's a lot of uh, crowd on weekends there or it depends there may be crowds at other days also so it's better to book online at avikulam national park when you all reach there will be a bus that will take you all up uphill to annamudi peak which is the highest peak in southern india it's very beautiful there are a lot of cloud formations and you all will see the nilgiri thars there in their natural habitat if you all are lucky so it's a walk from there once the bus takes you all and then the bus will drop you all back to the point from where it picked you all up after arabi kulam national park you all can then go to a tea museum so a film a short documentary film is shown to you all about uh, the history of munar and you all can also see the different items that display there and then you all will be shown how the process of tea is how it is made and also you all can taste different types of tea like masala ginger cinnamon tea and also buy tea for yourselves the ticket to enter the museum is around 100 to 200 rupees per person you all can also travel to kundala dam and marupetti dam for all those who are water sports enthusiast so you all can go there then you all can visit the uh, csi church which is a british stone church it's very beautiful so there is a bonus sightseeing point uh, which i want to tell you all in this video when you are in munnar it's called kolkumalai sunrise point so from munnar you will have to get up early in the morning at around 3 am and head to surenelli that's around 1 hour to 1 and a half hour when you get to surenelli then you all can hire a jeep to go off road for around 25 or 3000 rupees that's around 45 minutes to kolkumalai sunrise point you all can view the beautiful sunrise there it's really amazing and breathtaking and then the jeep will drop you back to surenelli from kolkumalai and from surenelli then you all can head back to munnar by whatever means of transport you all have taken So Munnar should take you all around two days to see all the sightseeing points. The next day you all can leave for Tekre, which is around three hours or around um, 93 kilometers or so, 93 to 100 kilometers. So Tekre is a forested area, and when you all arrive at Tekre, then you all can go to the famous Periyar Tiger Reserve and. Uh, <laughs> do uh boating there do boating in the periyar lake so you all can book the tickets in advance uh from the site because sometimes or most likely you all will not get tickets when you all arrive there so it's better to do prior booking you all can also do uh, bamboo rafting or nature walk there are a lot of activities which you all can do in uh, periyar tiger reserve so in that forested area so you all can keep one day aside for this uh, periyar tiger reserve if you all are doing it and then the next day you all can do a um, elephant safari or a elephant ride i had done it at elephant camp so they will charge you around 500 bucks per person um, and you can then go on an elephant safari ride for about 20 minutes and also at this place elephant camp there is uh, kalari or martial arts kathakali and uh, magical shows in the evening you all can buy tickets for this and go for it also you all can do a jeep safari to mount satram from the same place elephant camp so that jeep will take around 2500 or 6 or 3000 and it the the jeep guy will show you to mountain view points and that's the best way to explore tekri in its wilderness now tekri if you all are going to periyar tiger reserve then you all will require one day for that and if you all are not going to pick periyar tiger reserve you are not interested in uh, visiting that place or doing any boating or uh, nature walk or bamboo rafting any of these activities then you all will need only one day in tekri to do the other activities that is the jeep safari the magical shows kalari shows kathakali shows and the elephant safari so keep that in mind 
Now the next day you all will leave from Dekri to Alapi and trust me you all are not done with Dekri yet because there are two more spots to visit. So there is Patumala Church and Parandumpara Viewpoint. Patumala is a very beautiful church. Uh, it's a Syrian church I think. And uh, Parandumpara Viewpoint is really mesmerizing and breathtaking. So make sure that you all do not miss on going to this point. Now the journey from Tekere to Alapi will take around 4.5 hours, that's 138 kilometers. Alapi is a beautiful place known for its backwaters, the canals, lagoons, beautiful fields, simple life of the people there and of course it's known for its houseboats. Now in Alapi there are lots of things to do in the backwaters, so you all can stay in a houseboat. Uh, the houseboat check-in time is 12 o'clock. So they will take you on a tour and uh, you will be provided uh, lunch. The tour, tour will go on till evening about 5, 5.30. After that the houseboat docks and it's stationary. So probably uh, I've heard that the local fishermen lay their nets so the government has banned houseboats from moving around freely in the waters. They have to be stationed by around 5.30 or so. So they will dock at a station and uh, then the houseboat will be there and um, later on they'll provide dinner and next morning they'll provide breakfast and there will be a one hour cruise of the houseboat and then a checkout. So that is how the houseboat uh, trip goes for one night. It's quite pricey actually for houseboats as the price is from 6 to 18, 20, 25,000. So it depends on what type of houseboat you're booking it. Like there are basic houseboats, luxury houseboats. So according to that, the prices differ. There is kayaking that you all can do also uh, in uh, the backwaters. That is around 800 bucks or so. So it depends um, how long you go to kayak and mostly people kayak in the evening so you can go for that also and check the rates these are just approximates shikara is another thing you can do between 800 to 1200 per hour i think within two two hours uh, two yeah two to two and a half hours or three hours is enough for a shikara ride and you can explore the backwaters of alapi that way the best option which is not much known is canoeing so canoeing is the cheapest which i did myself you all can check the video in the description so i've linked it there <clears throat> so canoeing um, you'll be charged around 1000 rupees you will have to arrive at around 8 30 at one point ferry point the ferry point the ferry will pick you up from that point and then you will be taken for breakfast after your breakfast then you will sit in the cano along with two others so two or three others so four people in a cano and then you can go and explore the canals narrow narrow canals of um, Alapi which is really beautiful and the best way to explore the backwaters after your three hour trip of the canoeing then you're taken for lunch and uh, the sadhya meal is offered for lunch uh, in canoeing and then after you're done with lunch there are evening snacks so around 3 to 3 30 you will be dropped off back to the point uh, where the ferry picked you up and um, then you can head on to your journey wherever whatever you want to do so you can explore probably alapi beach or the lighthouse or go cycling around uh, in Alapi. So these are the things you all can do in Alapi. Also there's Kumarakom which is close by to Alapi. You all can also book houseboats there and uh, go around and see uh, how that place is. So again for Alapi one to two days is enough as you have to check in by 12.30 at the houseboat if you're going in a houseboat. For a canoeing, it is 8.30, you have to be there at the ferry point to be picked up. So I think a second on the second day, you can do your 
canoeing if you're interested in doing it. So from Alapi, you'll have two options. You all can go to Trivandrum, also known as Thiruvananthapuram, or you all can head straight to Kochi. So from Alapi, if you'll go to Trivandrum, you all can explore down south of Kerala, further down south. And you can see Kovalam, Varkala, beaches and whatever spots or attractions are there along that line. And get to Trivandrum which has the world's famous temple uh, and richest temple known as Padmanabha Swami. So keep note that uh, other faiths are not allowed to enter inside the temple. However, you all can see the temple from outside. From Alapi to Trivandrum, it's around four and a half hours or 146 kilometers journey and from Alapi to Kochi it's around one and a half hour or 93 to 100 kilometers journey. If you all have gone to Trivandrum and are somehow wanting to come back to Kochi then that's around um, five to six hours journey 200 plus kilometers so keep that also in mind. Now when you all arrive at Kochi you all can do the local sightseeing there there is Fort Kochi that you all can go to, um, which has a ferry which takes you to Ju Town, and you all can also explore the beach. Then from there you all can head to Santa Cruz Church, and later you all can go to St. Francis Church, which is a very important church as it had the remains of Pasco da Gama, which were then shifted back to Portugal. You all can also visit folklore museum there and uh, dwell yourself into the rich cultural heritage of Kerala. You all can also visit Martin Cherry Palace and Tripunitura Palace in Kochi. Now comes the most interesting topic of this video, the budget. So how much will you all require to travel to Kerala and back home? Now that entirely depends on your choices that you make on your trip to Kerala. So the various factors such as transportation, the hotels you are staying at, the number of nights you are staying there, then um, how you all arrived at Kerala, what mode of transport you use there, all these things will affect your budget ultimately. So uh, the budget for three nights, four days is roughly around uh, nine to ten thousand. If a four night, five day stay it is, then that should be around 11 to 12,000. Five nights to six days will be around 14,000, 13 to 14,000. And six nights, seven days, around 16 to 17,000. This is exclusive of your mode of transport that you've used to arrive at Kerala, excluding your flights, trains, or bus. Uh, cost. So if you'll have a limited or low budget then I would advise you all to use trains to travel to Kerala and then within Kerala you all can travel by bus because as I said earlier Kerala is well connected with its buses so and it's very cheap around 100 to 200 uh, rupees you all can pay to travel between Munar, Kochi, Tekade, all these places. You all can also choose to stay at ho hostels instead of hotels as they're cheaper around 500 to 600 rupees per night you all can pay. Hotels if you all want you all can use budget hotels which cost around 1200 to 300 per night. A note to keep in mind is you all will not require an AC room at Munar and Tekadi as the climate is very cold around 15 degrees, 16 degrees or 19 degrees. Alapi is very hot so make sure to book an AC room there. Kochi is also uh, a bit humid and hot so you all can opt for an AC there. Maybe a fan also might do there but Alapi requires an AC. Now among foods you all can try the Appam and Idi Appam for breakfast. The Kerala Sadhya meal uh, or banana leaf meal, you'll have to try it. It's yum. And for those who love beef, can try the beef of Kerala. It's very spicy and tasty. And that's it for this video. I hope that this video has been helpful and informative to you all. If you all have enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family as it will be helpful to them if they are planning their trip to Kerala. If you'll have any queries then put your queries down in the comment box so that I can read up on it and 
you can answer your queries as quickly as possible. Till then, take care and I hope that you'll have a wonderful trip to Kerala. God bless. Goodbye.